Before anyone says hello or explains anything, picture this for a moment. A fighter jet slips through one of the most heavily defended airspaces on Earth. Radar screens flicker. Warning systems hesitate. By the time defenders realize something is wrong, the mission is already over. No dramatic dogfight, no warning shots, just silence and results. This is the reality that forced military analysts to rethink everything they thought they knew about modern air power. The aircraft at the center of this shift is the F-35, but not just any F-35. This is Israel's version, reshaped by real combat needs, regional threats, and a mindset that treats survival as non-negotiable. What Israel did was not cosmetic, not experimental, and not theoretical. It was practical, aggressive, and deeply strategic. The story begins with a jet that many criticized as too complex, too expensive, and too restricted by its original design philosophy. Israel saw something else. They saw potential waiting to be unlocked. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are diving deep into how Israel took the F-35 and transformed it into the most dangerous jet operating in the world today. When Israel first received the aircraft, they accepted the airframe, but challenged the limits placed around it. Unlike other operators, Israel insisted on control over mission systems, data processing, and electronic warfare integration. This was not about pride, it was about necessity. Israel operates in a region where reaction time is measured in seconds, not minutes, and mistakes are not forgiven. The exterior of the jet remained largely familiar, but subtle changes reflected deeper intent. Maintenance access points were optimized for rapid turnaround. Surface treatments were adapted for desert heat and fine dust. These changes ensured the aircraft could remain stealthy and operational under conditions that would degrade standard configurations. Inside the aircraft, the philosophy became even clearer. The cockpit was not redesigned for comfort or aesthetics. It was redesigned for dominance. Israeli pilots needed faster information fusion, clearer threat prioritization, and greater autonomy during missions. Custom software allowed the aircraft to ingest intelligence from Israeli satellites, drones, ground sensors, and cyber units in real time. The result was an aircraft that did not simply receive data, but understood it. Pilots could see threats before those threats even activated their own systems. This is where the F-35 stopped being a platform and became a thinking weapon. Performance, in Israel's hands, was no longer about top speed or climb rate. It became about decision speed. The ability to identify, decide, and act before the enemy could even comprehend the situation. In combat scenarios, Israeli F-35s demonstrated an ability to penetrate advanced air defense networks without triggering full-scale responses. This was not luck. It was the outcome of carefully tuned electronic warfare systems designed to confuse, mislead, and overwhelm enemy sensors. Safety features were not passive shields but active tools. Instead of merely avoiding missiles, the aircraft manipulated the battlefield so missiles were never launched in the first place. Stealth was only one layer. Electronic deception, cyber interference, and signal dominance formed additional layers that worked together seamlessly. The jet became incredibly hard to track, harder to target, and nearly impossible to predict. This level of survivability changed operational planning entirely. Missions once considered too risky became routine. What truly separated Israel's F-35 from every other version was freedom. Israel was granted permission to integrate its own weapons, modify mission software independently, and update systems based on combat feedback rather than manufacturer schedules. This meant that after every operation, lessons learned could be translated into immediate improvements. The aircraft evolved continuously. Israeli made air to air and air to ground weapons were integrated without compromising stealth, allowing strikes tailored to regional threats. Intelligence gathered during missions fed directly back into the jet's threat libraries, making each flight smarter than the last. This feedback loop created an advantage that compounded over time. While other nations waited for official updates, Israel adapted in real time. The price of an F-35 is often discussed in headlines, usually framed as a number meant to shock taxpayers. For Israel, the cost was secondary to value. While the unit price hovered around the standard range, the strategic return was immeasurable. Domestic maintenance capabilities reduced downtime. Local upgrades reduced dependency. Operational freedom reduced risk. In a region defined by constant tension, the ability to strike first, strike precisely, and leave no trace is priceless. The aircraft became not just a deterrent, but a message. A message that airspace was no longer a guarantee of safety. As analysts around the world studied Israeli operations, a pattern emerged. This was not about brute force. It was about control, control of information, control of timing, control of escalation. Israel did not make the F-35 louder or more intimidating. 
They made it invisible, intelligent, and inevitable. Enemies were left guessing whether a strike had occurred, how it was executed, and when the next one might come. This uncertainty became a weapon in itself. The psychological impact often exceeded the physical damage. In the end, Israel's transformation of the F-35 represents a shift in how modern wars are fought. Air superiority is no longer defined by who has more jets, but by who understands the battlefield better. The Israeli F-35 is not just a fighter jet. It is a flying command center, an intelligence node, and a precision weapon rolled into one. It proves that technology alone does not create dominance. Vision does. Adaptation does. Experience does. If you want to understand the future of air combat, you are not looking at blueprints or marketing brochures. You are looking at how Israel flies its F-35. And if this breakdown changed the way you see modern warfare, stay with us, because the next story will take you even deeper into the technologies reshaping the balance of power right now.